Ever tried landing a MiG-21 and thought, how hard could it be? One small mistake, and you're seconds away from turning that sleek jet into a fireball. Today, we're diving into the five deadliest landing mistakes every MiG-21 pilot must avoid. Because when you're coming in hot at 400 kilometers per hour, even the smallest error can be your last. The fifth deadly landing mistake, touching down without extending the landing gears. Hard to believe? It's happened to even the most seasoned fighter pilots in history. No one is immune. You see, once you've flown an aircraft type long enough, you start feeling invincible. That's when overconfidence quietly sneaks in. You stop following every checklist, line by line. You trust your instincts more than your instruments. And that's when small habits turn into big mistakes. During the landing pattern, after rolling out on downwind, you must set your parameters, altitude, speed, heading. Then check your runway displacement visually. If you're off, fix it early. As you pass a beam the landing threshold, your airspeed should be below 550 kilometers per hour. That's your cue to lower the landing gear. But if you forget it here and turn base without dropping the gears, you're seconds away from a belly landing. Why? Because from that moment on, you're too busy. You're fighting to line up, holding the glide path, correcting speed and attitude, and your focus drifts outside the cockpit. By the time you realize what's wrong, it's too late. After every gear up landing, investigations tell the same story. Overconfidence, rushing, fatigue, distractions, different pilots, same reasons. Modern jets now have advanced systems to warn you, but in the MiG-21, it's all manual. No voice alerts, no fancy indicators, just three green lights. If you see red, your gears are still up. If you see green, you're good to go. That's why we double check. Once after gear extension, and once again at mid-final. It's drilled into every MiG-21 pilot because one missed check can turn a smooth landing into a shower of sparks. So no matter how experienced you are, never skip the basics. A simple glance at three green lights can save both your jet and your life. The fourth deadly mistake, landing the MiG-21 too fast. It sounds simple, right? But in the MiG, a few extra knots can decide whether you stop on the runway or slide straight off the end of it. The MiG-21 isn't built to forgive speed. Its landing gear is narrow, its wings are razor thin, and its braking system isn't made for mistakes. Touching down above 550 kilometers per hour means you're bringing in too much kinetic energy. Every extra knot adds momentum, and momentum doesn't forgive. I've seen it happen. A perfect approach, good alignment, stable glide path. But the pilot hesitated. He didn't reduce the throttle early enough. And when those wheels touched, the MiG simply refused to slow down. At that point, the only thing you can do is pray your runway is long enough. That's why, in training, we always say, speed kills but only when you ignore it. The landing speed window in the MiG-21 is narrow. Too slow and you risk a stall. Too fast and you'll float forever above the runway. When you float, you eat up precious distance. And by the time the tires finally meet the concrete, 
you've got barely any runway left to stop. You know you're fast, but there's no way out. So you force it down. The third deadly mistake, a high flare. Simple in words, but one of the most unforgiving errors in the MiG-21. You're coming in smooth. Glide path looks perfect. But as the runway rushes toward you, something inside says, pull back just a little more. And that is where the trouble begins. The MiG-21 isn't like a passenger jet. It doesn't like being flared high. Its delta wing doesn't give you lift. It bleeds it. So the moment you pull that nose too far up, you trade all your remaining airspeed for altitude. And just like that, you're hanging in the air, weightless and out of energy. Then comes the drop, a sudden brutal impact. The landing gear groans, the frame shudders, and everything inside the cockpit shakes. In a fighter jet like the MiG-21, that's not just a rough landing. That's a structural hit. One hard touchdown like that, and you might walk away with bent struts, blown tires, or worse, an ejection handle you'll never get to pull. So why does it happen? Because the pilot misjudged the flare height. At high speed, with that narrow nose and tiny canopy view, depth perception becomes your worst enemy. Most pilots think they're only a few feet above the ground, but in reality, they're still 10, maybe 15 feet up. And when the jet sinks, it sinks fast. Once the vertical speed builds, no amount of stick pull will save you. You're coming down hard. In training, we learn this the hard way. The flare in a MiG-21 should be minimal, barely a tick on the stick. You let the aircraft settle, not fight it down. Your aim should be to fly the jet onto the runway, not float it, because when you float, you lose energy. When you pull too much, you lose control. And when you lose both, you meet the runway the hard way. Remember, a perfect landing in the MiG-21 isn't soft, it's precise. Right speed, right pitch, right attitude. So next time that instinct whispers just a little more flare, ignore it. Trust the training. The fourth mistake, a three-point touchdown. Sounds balanced, but in a MiG-21, it's a dangerous illusion. This jet isn't designed to land like a Cessna. It's a fighter built to come in fast, nose slightly high, main wheels first. But when all three wheels, nose and mains, hit the runway at the same time, you've just handed control over to physics. In that split second, the nose wheel takes a violent load. The shock strut compresses hard, the jet starts to bounce, and before you know it, you're fighting a porpoising MiG at 300 kilometers per hour. Many pilots have lost aircraft this way, not because they lacked skill, but because they tried to force the landing. The MiG-21 demands finesse, not brute control. You let the main wheels kiss the runway first, then gently lower the nose. That's how you bleed the energy, not smash it out. A proper landing is a sequence. Main gear, hold it, then nose wheel, in that order every time. So remember, a three-point touchdown might look smooth from the outside, but inside the cockpit, it's the start of chaos. Fly the jet onto the runway. Don't drop it, because in the MiG-21, precision isn't optional. The first mistake and probably the most unforgiving one, is an approach stall.
You're on final. Everything feels stable. Speed looks good. The runway's right there. But beneath that calm, you're seconds away from disaster. A stall during approach happens when the wing's angle of attack exceeds its limit. Lift disappears and the aircraft sinks like a stone. In the MiG-21, it happens fast. There's no gentle warning. One moment you're gliding steady, the next the nose drops and the jet starts to roll uncontrollably. At low altitude, you have no room to recover, no time to power up and pull out. The ground is just there, waiting. I've seen it happen. Not because of recklessness, but because of distraction. Maybe the pilot was too focused on lining up the runway or chasing the perfect descent angle. And that's when the speed bled away, silently. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the flight, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your squad. Until next time, fly safe and keep the wings level.